Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ryan Weber with Ryan Weber Training. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get the coveted six pack abs, a toned stomach, flat belly. Oh yeah, stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. I am Ryan Weber with Ryan Weber Training. In today's video, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be short, it's gonna be to the point. We're gonna be talking about how to get a flat tummy, how to get six pack abs, how to look and feel better, how to be more confident. Yeah, baby. How to do a lot of things, how to win in life. You guys, if you haven't liked or subscribed already, please do smash that like button, subscribe. I really want these videos and the value I'm giving away for free to get out there and reach as many people as possible. Okay, cool. We're going to jump right into it and get started. So how do we get a flatter belly? How do we get those six pack abs? Well, there's a bunch of things we can do. I'm going to make several videos about this topic. I'm going to give you guys tips on exactly what to eat. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to work out. That's right. we got some workout videos coming soon. Those will be cool. And But today I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of context so you know what to do when you're in the kitchen and just living your life in general to get the best and quickest results right now. The first thing you want to do is you want to do the bloat test. So Ryan, what do you mean by the bloat test? What the heck is that? Okay, I know, I get it. It kind of sounds weird, right? So when it comes to food, we all react, we all respond to food. Now, sometimes food's going to definitely bloat us. Other times, we're going to feel a lot better. Sometimes food makes us really gassy. Other times, not so much. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to keep a journal. We're going to keep a little log, a little entry book. Okay, you can do it on a phone and an app. You can write it on a piece of paper. You can put it in a little diary or journal you carry around with you. But you want to make sure you keep track of what you eat and when you eat. So let me give you an example of how this will actually make a difference. I'm about three and a half weeks away right now from my next competition. And I've definitely made some good progress and improvements. But I can feel that I wasn't at the exact spot that I wanted to be compared to past competitions. I was getting some more blood. Loading. I couldn't figure out what it was. Now, I have a very high metabolism and I've been doing this for a long time. So over the years, I've built up a metabolism where I have to eat more to keep my muscle, my size, my fullness. If you're just starting out, you're not going to have to eat as much as I do. So every day for lunch, I have seven ounces of chicken and a box of pastaroni. That's right, a box of pastaroni. Wait, what? Pastaroni in a competition diet? And you're getting abs? You're getting lean? Yeah, it's crazy. I know. I'm very blessed. Thank you, God. But I was noticing thing was a bit more bloated. So here's what I did. I thought that may have been it just because of gluten some, and some other things that I just know I can be sensitive to at times. So I replaced the box of pastaroni with about 10 to 12 ounces of jasmine rice, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Boom. Within about two to three days, that bloatingness, that gas that I was getting around a certain time of the day disappeared. That went away. It made a huge difference. Now you might be saying, okay, well, 10 to 12 ounces of white rice, that's a lot too. Yes, it is. But jasmine rice is a quick digesting rice. It's easy to digest. And I'm telling you, for my metabolism, for my look, and for, for my, my appearance, I have to eat more. So this isn't necessarily going to work for everybody eating this way that I just described. But the whole point is, is I gave you a good example of what you can do right now as you eat things throughout the day. Maybe for lunch you go to Burger King and you get a burger and fries and you feel really bloated and gassy after that. Well, all right. Maybe you can still have a burger and fries, but try going somewhere else or try making them at home. Put the fries in an air fryer, make a burger on the grill, or maybe just replace that with the chicken salad and some quinoa. I don't know. You got to kind of test this out for yourself. But both of those are going to be a better option than going out eating the fast food, processed food. It's going to make a big difference. It's called the bloat test. Give it a shot. Try it out. You're going to love it. The next thing, we're going to be talking about alkalizing and cleansing your body. Now, you guys, I've made a lot of videos about this. I reference this all the time. So I'm going to keep on doing so. Alkalizing and cleansing your body is so freaking important. A lot of people, what they think is they're going to do is they're going to do this detox, okay? Well, I'm going to do a detox. I'm just going to flush everything out in a week. And yeah, it's going to really going to get me going on my journey. Yeah, man, it's going to be cool. Well, here's the thing. If you're not used to doing this, the first time you do it, the first time you do a flush or a detox, <laughs> right? My, my cheap sound effects. You might be blowing up, literally, the toilet, okay? 
your body will clean out. A lot of the clients, not a lot of the clients, some clients when I first start working with them and I implement these principles, they'll call me after a couple of days and be like, Ryan, I feel better, I'm looking better, my, my belly's flatter, but I can't stop going to the bathroom. Uh, is there something wrong? And I kind of laugh and I let them know, no, nothing's wrong, but your body is cleansing and detoxifying, okay? You were eating all garbage food before. You're still eating good food right now, food that tastes good, but you're not eating all that highly fat, highly sugar, highly processed foods, so your body is letting go of some of that waste and things that were building up in your system. So when you live a cleansing and an, an alkalizing lifestyle, because that's what I'm telling you to do, actually make this a part of your lifestyle. Don't just do it once and think, okay, I got it. You're going to be incorporating certain foods on a regular basis. Foods that are going to be higher in fiber. You're going to be drinking more water. Lemon water is something I love. Now, to be more alkaline, you have to incorporate more greens into your diet, okay? Carbs, protein, and fats are all acid forming. You're like, well, dude, that sucks. What does it leave? Well, it leaves greens, vegetables. And a lot of people don't like vegetables. So what I'm telling you to do is find a way to incorporate more vegetables. If you have to cook them or steam them and put a little bit of salt or you know, something on there to flavor them to get them down, fine, do it. But I would avoid using the microwave for vegetables. I would avoid cooking them in a whole bunch of oil and fattening them up because it's kind of going to defeat the purpose of what we're going for here. And if you can't eat your vegetables, if you don't like salads, and I get it, you can go to the store, you can go on Amazon, you can go online to any health food or nutrition store, even a grocery store now, and get some powdered greens. They have powdered wheatgrass, spirulina, chlorella, moringa. There's so many powdered greens, you know, superfood green blends available. They even make them banana flavor chocolate flavored, they have your typical green flavored, uh, lemon, f excuse me, lemon flavored. When I say green flavored, basically it just tastes like grass, okay? Hey, it is what it is. What you can do is you can drink those down, you can put them into a beverage that you like, you can put them into a protein shake, and although it might change that beverage green, you're still going to get the benefit of alkalizing your body, and you're not necessarily going to taste the greens as you drink them. So one of the things that I do is I'll take a big handful of spinach or kale, I throw it into my blender with a scoop of protein, a scoop of peanut butter, some unsweetened almond milk, ice, water, and I mix it up. I have a green protein shake now, but it tastes like my chocolate peanut butter shake that I was making. I really can't taste the greens, and now I'm getting more of these alkaline forming foods into my body. So something to keep, your mind, keep in point and to drive this point home in your mind is people who are sick, people who are diseased or have diseases, illnesses in their body, they're generally going to be more acidic. Okay, disease thrives in an acidic environment, while disease cannot thrive in an alkaline environment. So what we're doing is slowly but surely, and over time, we're building up the alkalinity in our body. We're cleansing and we're detoxifying ourselves. So you're going to be much healthier. Plus, it's going to also go, going to reduce that bloat. It's going to get more of the waste and things built up in your body and in your stomach. And your stomach is going to start to get flatter. And if you do this right, over time, with some exercise, you might even get those abs to start popping. No, you will get those abs to start popping. Which brings me to my next point. Workouts, <clears throat> excuse me, workouts are extremely important. Now, the way I want you to work out is I want you to include the core element. Core element means you want to make sure you're doing something for your abs every single workout. I'm not talking about doing an actual ab workout. Excuse me, hey guys, I think my uh, voice is a little bit hoarse because I'm lacking water. Mm. Oh yeah, so refreshing. Okay, let's get back on point. So. The core workout, the core element. There's two things I want you to, to think about when you're doing this. I want you to engage your abs more, and I want you to engage your posterior chain more. The reason being is your abs that are front, posterior chain, your back, your glutes, this is the back. They're gonna work off of each other. If one is stronger than the other, or weaker than the other, well, now you got a weak link, and the stronger side is gonna be pulling on the weaker side, and vice versa, okay? This is where you open yourself up for injury, lower back injuries, okay? Think about um, a lot of guys at the gym. You know, they may have these great physiques, and they have some abs, but they have what I call pancake butt. You know, they have a flat butt. And women will spend a lot more time, I acknowledge you ladies, on building their, 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 their butt, their, their glutes. It's much more round. I can tell you that I suffer from pancake butt, flat butt, not too recently. I've spent a lot more time developing my posterior chain and flexing and engaging my abs, and I can tell you the difference is 
night and day. Not only do you look better, you feel better, aesthetically you're better, but you have a lot more stability and support there. So you're gonna be less prone to injury. You're gonna be stronger in everything you do on all of your overall lifts. To give you an example, if you're standing there and you're doing bicep curls, right? What I want you to do is stand up straight, you know, keep good C-spine, look forward, control your breathing, and make sure you're flexing your abs at the same point you're gonna be flexing your glutes. This might feel a bit unnatural the first time you try it, but do this in everything you do because you're gonna get the added benefit of working the core element with all of your workouts and all of your lifts. Over time, over really a short period of time, you're gonna look and see and feel a big difference if you do this right. Okay, guys, this is so important. I can't stress it enough. Now, a little bonus tip here for you guys, something you probably already know, and I'm gonna throw this in. This is for free. <laughs> this is all for free. It's good value, right? Hey, smash that like button if you're liking and you're feeling this, okay? Cool. I want you guys to continue to exercise and work out and move, okay? If you're not doing these things, you need to do them. If you're doing them, continue to do them. Here's the reason why. This is why exercise and working out is so important. It's not necessarily because, you know, you're gonna be looking better and feeling better. Yes, that's the point, but exercise, working out with resistance training, you're gonna be building more lean muscle mass, okay? Lean muscle mass is gonna replace the fat that you're carrying around in your body. And lean muscle mass, this is the best part, you could be sitting at a computer for eight hours a day, just working, really not get up at all. And because you have more lean muscle mass, you're gonna be burning more calories for free, okay? Lean muscle equals higher metabolism, equals more calories burned, equals less fat, equals better looking, equals more confident and a happier, healthier life. You get it? <laughs> It's so important, guys. It's so simple. I guarantee that if you do these four things, your life and your outlook is going to start to change drastically if this, some, if this is something that's important to you. And for most people, generally it is. The tummy, the abs, that's one of those things whether you're a man or a woman, people just want to have it flatter, more shapely, look better, and it's going to help and do a lot for your confidence. Okay, cool. So what did we learn about today? We talked about how to get a flat belly, how to build start, start building six-pack abs, to look and feel a lot more confident, to be healthier. How do we do it? The bloat test. Make sure you keep a log of everything you eat and test and see what foods you're sensitive to and if it makes a difference. And I'm gonna tell you, there's gonna be some things you find when you do this, they're gonna make a huge difference and reduce that bloating, give you a flatter belly right away. The next thing I want you to alkalize and cleanse your body. The more you do this, I'm not just talking about doing a cleanse for the week, but live an alkalizing and cleansing lifestyle. You're gonna be cleaning out the excess waste. You're gonna have a flatter tummy, flatter belly. You're gonna start seeing those abs pop a heck of a lot quicker, and you're gonna be a lot healthier at the core just for doing so. The next principle, core principle for working out. I want you to engage your abs and engage your posterior chain, your glutes, in just about everything and anything you do. And you do that by flexing your abs and squeezing your butt. I talked about it earlier, go back and review. It's unnatural at first, but trust me, it's gonna change the way you approach anything and everything you do. It really does. It's amazing, it's like magic. Give it a shot. And then the last one, guys, working out. Not working out just to work out, but work out to build lean muscle mass. Lean muscle mass is your meal ticket to burning calories, fat, carbs off for free while you're doing nothing, while you sleep even. How awesome is that? It's freaking amazing. You guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. If you've not subscribed already, I invite you, I challenge you to do so. It's gonna help us out to get these videos out to more people, more value, and it's really gonna help more people just become the best version of themselves right now. If you haven't already, guys, like the video, turn on the notifications button so you know when I come out with new videos. Also, visit ryanweber.com. I have a lot more information up there. Some is free, well, a lot is free. Some is gonna be, you can invest in and get some of these programs. It's gonna help you greatly, but the choice is yours. Do what you want to do. If you didn't purchase anything from me ever, you're still going to get a lot of value just watching this channel. But if you want to go a little bit deeper and get results faster and make sure they're sustainable and get away from all the bull crap that other people are teaching that just doesn't work, check out the programs. I guarantee you'll be happy you did. You guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next video, we will talk to you soon. Peace.